Hello, welcome back to the Nowcom demonstration room. My name is James Bailey, I'm the technical director for Nowcom, and today I'm going to have a look at a, a new package that's arrived, which is the key expansion module for the 8800 series from Cisco. So, without further ado, let's have a look at what's in the box. So, a pretty neat packaging. Uh, on the side, it's just got the model, uh, serial number, etc. So, we'll open it up. As I said, this is the 8800 key expansion module for the 8851 and 8861 telephones. So here we've got a little USB connector type, so that will connect between the 8800 phone and the key expansion module. We'll unbox everything and have a look and see what we've got. A very slick little tiny foot stand. So there are two different variants of the key expansion module, and this is the newer one. Uh, so I believe it looks a lot nicer than the previous one. Uh, you can distinguish it pretty easily from the way it looks where they've got the buttons laid out. So on the older model uh, it was a single screen from top to bottom and then the buttons were either side. Whereas on this one you can see it's actually split screen between the upper and lower screens. Still got the buttons down the, the one side uh, and now we've got sort of effectively two buttons at the bottom. So first page of speed dials etc. Second page of speed dial and directory numbers. That's pretty much how it works. Uh, the phones themselves come in charcoal and white, but I believe the key expansion module is only in charcoal. So don't make the mistake of buying a white phone and buying the 8800 key EM module and finding that it, it doesn't match with the colour. So this is charcoal only as far as I can find out. So here we've got the connectivity on the side. So this is where we'll take the connector unit. Slightly fiddly. There we go. Hopefully they'll be reducing their plastics in the future. There's a bit too much packaging, I think, in this model. So that would slot into here. Make sure we get it the right way around. You can see to see the larger port and then the smaller USB port. And so it depends on whether you've got uh, which class of power over Ethernet of whether the key expansion module can be powered from the actual handset. So I just bring in the handset. We'll see how it joins from compatibility. So on the 8800 phone, this is the 8861 model, you'll see you've got a couple of ports on the side. You need to prise open these, put in the connector, and then put in the key expansion module. So once you've got the stand on, slide that in there. Have a look at our other videos for the 8861 unboxings, a little bit more description there. Connect the two together and effectively that's what your phone with a single key expansion module would look like. And this particular model, the 8861, can have up to three, <laughs> would you believe, three key expansion modules for a really sort of comprehensive uh, maybe reception position where they need to monitor all the lines from within the business. Uh, if you don't have the right amount of power over Ethernet, you can also use the power cube. This is the power cube 4, so make sure you get the right power cube. Uh, it's slightly misleading in terms of what's available. There's a power cube 3 and a power cube 4 currently on sale. And this would power or give extra power to the telephone, which then gets transferred to the key expansion module to give you enough juice to run both things side by side. So, in a nutshell, this is the key expansion module. Um, I will Take a little pause, try and get it plugged in so you can see what it looks like from a colour perspective. Come back in a second. Okay, so I've gone and found myself a patch lead and we'll just complete the final part of the setup and we'll plug it in. What I'll do is I'll plug the telephone in first. I'm actually not sure whether I've got enough power uh, in my power over Ethernet network to power the key expansion module as well. So whilst the phone is booting, I won't bore you with that, look at the other videos if you want that. Uh, we'll take the little ports out from the side of the handset. Uh, there's pretty much only one way that this can go in. You can see that the connections are actually slightly offset and the buttons, sorry, the connectors are also slightly offset. So make sure you've got it the right way around and give it a, sh a firm shove. There we go, that is now in and connected. Obviously on the other end you can't go wrong. That has to be the same way, otherwise you've got the thing upside down. Okay, plug it in. Fingers crossed, what we should see is the key expansion module should be recognised and it should power up. Now of course you need to provision this on your system, whether it's on your cloud platform with the MPP model, uh, multi, 
Mm. Multi-phone protocol, could be something like that, or the standard SIP model for call manager. Uh, either way, um, nothing's going to happen, it's not going to work. It's telling me I'm logged out of the hunt group. It's not going to work unless we uh, configure it and provision it. Now you can see we've got no power, so I, I'm going to now scrabble around under the desk. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I've got the um, Power Cube 4 plugged into the floor port, and you can see the phone is uh, booting, but the key expansion module is still not active. So it needs extra power. We've only got a low power power over Ethernet. So typically you will need a power cube when you've got the expansion module. Certainly you will need it if you've got multiple expansion modules. As I've said uh, before, this is the newer one with the 28 buttons as opposed to the older one which has the 36 buttons that you've got the two pages. When I plugged it in, uh, it immediately said that the key expansion module has been added but it's been disabled by the administrator. That's because you need to go into the settings of the communications manager or call manager and enable the key expansion module from the phone pages. So I've accessed that from my computer. I'm not going to show it to you, but what I'm going to do is scroll down to the expansion module section within the phone page. Maybe you can just see that. And you can see here you've got Module 1, Module 2, and Module 3. And at the moment it's selected to None. So on the drop down list I've got, do I want to add the 36 button older module, or do I want to add the 28 button newer module, the CP8800. So I'll select that, hit Save, and then I also need to hit the Apply Config button for the changes to take effect. So we'll do that, click OK, and what we should see is the module should then become enabled from the phone perspective. So I've told the phone uh, that it's got the module and that it can power and home with it. Okay, so straight away, obviously this is fresh out of the box, uh, it's doing a software upgrade that's getting it from the call manager directly to the key expansion module on the two screens. Not sure how long that's going to take, not sure the size of the image. Uh, the phone is re-registering, telling me I'm logged out of the hunt group as well. So you can see you've got the progress bar on the screen as the key expansion module is upgraded. Now I haven't added any extra buttons, any extra speed dials, any extra functionality to the key expansion module. So when it starts, it's going to be uh, a completely blank configuration. But hopefully you can see the two things in conjunction. Obviously you can't use this module with all the phones, it has to be either the 8851 or 8861 phone, so just be aware of that. Um, but once you've got it, and you can have multiple of it, you've got typically a receptionist type console position where you can monitor multiple lines, have shortcut buttons, have speed dial buttons, etc. on the side of your phone. So you can see it's finalized. I think that's it now on the boot sequence. The buttons seem to be enabled. Page one of my dials. Page two, obviously completely blank, um, but we'll configure those over the coming few uh, minutes and we'll be up and running. So if you like the video, click subscribe and we'll be back with you very soon. Cheers.